check out those Hollywood grins. With more and more celebrities showing off their sparkling whites, it's no surprise demand for teeth whitening is on the up. Worth around £2 billion in the UK, you must be a dental professional with years of training to do it legally. I want you to scrub your teeth. But tonight we expose training schools, encouraging anyone to get a slice of the action. But it's just to train you for it again and again. You're putting yourself at, uh, at risk of being, uh, end up in jail or being fined. In every room at Care Dental Platinum in Hammersmith, they're hard at work. Everyone here, whether dentist, technician or hygienist, shares one thing in common years of training to get to this point to whiten teeth. It takes between four and seven years to do simple tooth whitening. So it's the support knowledge that you have in the background to whiten teeth. So it may not be per se learning how to whiten teeth, but that's just a part of the journey that we go through to become a dentist or a therapist or a hygienist. But I've received tip-offs about so-called training schools who are falsely claiming that they can turn anyone into qualified teeth whiteners in just a few hours. Can I help you? The London School of Nails and Beauty confirmed they can train us to whiten teeth within a day. You understand, you're competent, then you'll get your certificate. And say we can make big money. Most definitely. I mean, it's a very, very lucrative business, as you know. We're told to come for training within a couple of weeks. I was pretty excited as I could really increase my income, so I seized it. Jenny, not her real name, went through similar training at a different centre. She's so embarrassed by what she went through, we've protected her identity. She got approached by a company who said she could set up her own teeth whitening business. The training, I remember, took no more than four or five hours. Was I suspicious? No, not at all. They just kept on saying it was all totally legal. Our training day with the London School of Nails and Beauty has arrived. Hello. He's a... Uh... Good morning. Our two undercover researchers meet college principal Char MacDonald, pay £300... So 20, 30... ..and will take it in turns to practise on each other. The course starts at 10.30. But it's just to train you for it again and again. These are all the juicy products we're going to use. They learn how to take before and after pics. Just dust your mouth like this. And a few hours in, whitening gels. Make sure it clicks. Then treating customers with a powerful heating light. Have you got your gloves on? Good. Lovely. I'm feeling more and more confident in issuing you a certificate. Ta-da! Ta-da! Lovely. Thank you. So by 3.30, we're apparently qualified with this certificate to set up our own teeth whitening business. So five hours, what's your reaction to that then? It's ludicrous. We take five years just to become a dentist. Now five hours is... It's, it's madness. Ben Atkins has huge concerns about untrained practitioners. There's no way of tracing the products and there have been numerous reports of damage to nerves and gums. You OK? At Care Dental Platinum, they're doing a yearly refresher course in emergency first aid, in how to react if there's an emergency in the dental chair. When things go wrong in dentistry, they can really go wrong. I've been that dentist with that full backup service when that patient's had that heart attack, and it's nothing I would want to go through. It would be catastrophic to the patient, to the person who's been trained and told it's legal to do. At the London School of Nails and Beauty, emergencies aren't covered at all during training. Over lunch, when we ask what to do, it's all a bit of an afterthought. For an ambulance. For an ambulance, yes. OK. But what do I do? So I've just told you, you phone an ambulance like anybody else. Having done our training in what's supposed to be a sterile procedure, we're told where to set up our clinics. I would say living room or bedroom. Okay, or bathroom? Living room or bedroom. Okay. 
and the money we can earn. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. From £80 upwards. Per hour? Per session. It was the same story at the training centre Jenny went to. They kept telling me how lucrative teeth whitening could be. And I went ahead and spent more than a thousand pounds on all the equipment. And then I started treating people. But within a few months, a warning letter arrived saying she could be breaking the law. It really knocked me for six. I couldn't believe what I'd been doing was illegal. That I might be committing some kind of criminal offence. And I had to stop everything immediately. It's on. You're putting the responsibility on the client. Char repeatedly claims that the legal way to do this is to hand items to the customer to do themselves. They say that they are doing a self-service teeth one. Ask the client to what? To remove the, 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 the tray and give to me. And that's exactly what our undercover researchers are told to do. If you don't mind to please put into your mouth. So would you mind putting this on? If you don't mind giving me your, uh, your mouth guard, please. The trouble is, it's nonsense. The General Dental Council, or GDC, has repeatedly prosecuted those who try this. It's a sham. There have been court cases that determine exactly what tooth whitening is. You're putting yourself at risk. You're putting yourself at, uh, at risk of being, uh, end up in jail or being fined. And if you want to know what that's like, ask Jenny. I may as well have burnt the money I spent. I was struggling as a beautician as it was, and I nearly went bankrupt. I think, as a direct result, I lost all my confidence. I went through anxiety and suffered depression. I think it's disgusting that people like me are being misled like this. And what's shocking are the numbers of people Char claims have gone through this useless and potentially dangerous training at her centre. Roughly. Probably thousands. Thousands. You've done th you've Not done myself. No, no, I'll, school. I'll, I'll, school. I think it's absolutely appalling that there are people out there who are preying on the vulnerabilities of beauticians and other people. So these people are actually manipulating, misleading them. I think it's frankly ridiculous. It's appalling and this is purely profiteering. It's ludicrous, quite simple. Um, and it beggars belief that these institutes are actually even open. We asked the London School of Nails and Beauty why they were offering training that could potentially open those taking it up for prosecution and a criminal offence. They didn't respond. BBC London spoke to other beauticians who've been devastated by this, with other companies. What's shocking is the GDC really only has the powers to go for those who are practising, rather than the schools misleading and encouraging others to face prosecution themselves, putting the public at risk.